in the, if you come to this corner of YouTube, this little cubby hole, it's speculation central. I might just change the name <laughs> from Molly Golightly to <laughs> speculation central. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. I got my Thrive. It just came in the mail. Chris is going to be so excited. Got my new patches. Look. Yeah, I'm going to be up all day. I can take care of my kids, do the laundry, do the dishes, back in the house, mop, go to the car cleaner, pick up the wash, blah, 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 blah. all that before 10 a.m. Check out Thrive. It's better than crack. Hi, guys. Get your Thrive. <sighs> <sighs> okay, God rest her soul. Oh no, Chris is around. I gotta go. <laughs> it works, guys. Oh. Oh. See, see, you're gonna fall off the counter. Be careful. <laughs> I told you it's expensive. Bars. Oh my God. I better hold off until Chris gets home or else he's gonna kill me. Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna hold on, Cece. Don't fall off the couch. Be careful. You might break your neck or something. Hello. Hi, I have a question for you. Hello? Economy. Economy. Huh. Yes, economy in? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys going out of business anytime soon? Yeah. Are you guys going out of business anytime soon? Yeah. You are going out of business? Yeah. Can you tell me why two babies have died on your property? Two babies? Two babies have died on your property. Do you own this? Uh you just work there? So you do know that two babies have died in the past four years on your property. Don't you have cameras? Don't you have two babies died in your hotel? What room number? Yeah. I can't. I, I, you know what? I, you know what? Just the whole world. No, that wasn't me. And I also wasn't the one there yesterday that said that uh, someone yelled out uh, 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 a fire, arson, threatened to arson, that someone should commit arson to that house. And I got blamed for it. And I was like, wait a second, I wasn't even there yesterday. So yeah, don't be so gullible. If you have a question about something that you heard, just ask. I will tell you the truth. To be here. And they're just sitting there, peeking out their windows. Well, I'm dirty. Very soothing. Very soothing. Dirty laundry. This house should be burned. That'll get you out. No, that wasn't me. And I also wasn't the one there yesterday that said that uh, someone yelled out, uh, 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 a fire, arson, threatened to arson, that someone should commit arson to that house. And I got blamed for it. And I was like, wait a second, I wasn't even there yesterday. So yeah, don't be so gullible. If you have a question about something that you heard, just ask. I will tell you the truth. I am a monetized channel. It's none of your business if someone decides to become a member. It's none of your business if I have a Patreon. Cash Gurnan's family support us. And she thinks that we're like making tons of money off of they, but, 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 off these videos, which we're not. He was not a moneymaker. The one that's the moneymaker is Summer Wells. For some reason, if you talk about Summer Wells and you keep going, you're making bank. It's a gold mine. It's an absolute gold mine. You want to know Even if you have to put her on private, it will go green. And then you put your ads on. That's a secret. That's how I make the difference between 2000 and 2000. What the hell? I, I showed you. Just remember, every five minutes, put it in. Okay. But do it after they give you that green light. Why you does it matter it. after the green? Oh, I have a bunch of yellows on mine. Oh my God, you're live? I thought you knew we were live. I oh, you run away. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Oh my God, I even said how much I make. Oh my God. I think everyone already knew that. I'm sorry, everyone. everyone but guess what? I that. give a lot of money to charity. So let's take a look at just some of the stuff Jonathan Lee Riches has done. He is a convicted froster. He is in the Guinness Books of Records of lawsuits. He's 
sued just about anybody you can possibly think of, including the Guinness Book of Records, for actually putting him in there. Can we say attention seeker? Also, this guy goes to rallies after rallies. As you can see, he's been in many headlines. This lady right here, he harassed and sent people after her. This guy is off his rocker. He pretended to be the uncle of Adam Lanza, which is the Sandy Hook shooter, which is why he got arrested for violation of probation in 2012. This guy goes anywhere there's tragedy because he wants the attention. I mean, look at the articles after him. Here he is with Hillary Clinton. After making such a big thing, harassing that girl for doing anti-Trump rallies, because supposedly he was Jews for Trump, now he's Muslims for Hillary. The guy's a professional troll. He is trolling you guys right now by pretending to be some kind of advocate for children. Here he is pretending to be Derek Chauvin, wearing a Make White Great Again. This guy's a joke, and everything he stands on is a joke. He has no convictions. Rally junkie doesn't care if it's Clinton or Trump, as long as he's in the picture. me work how, how do you think he'll feel when bullhorn betty is knocking at his door with a camera in his face that would be some funny stuff that'd be good content <laughs> see you in court buddy since you're streaming my entire channel on your channel Got nothing better to do with your little penis. Bag boy. Bag boy. Bag boy. And I just want to let everybody know that um, all, all PayPal, I know some people have been even sending me uh, coffee money through PayPal. Every penny that I've been getting on PayPal, I've been letting sit in PayPal so I can buy stuff off the wish list. You know, that wish list that everybody's like, oh, I can't believe you, you think everybody's going to pay for your entire life. Yet she's on every day trying to sell her stupid candles to pay for her entire life. That all comes from, oh, just because you give a product. I give a product to me. <laughs> so funny. Somebody that makes candles thinks that they're, they're going to be able to be an investigative journalist better than somebody who's been doing it for a decade. Nick Simon, uh, a citizen journalist, is now turned into an investigative journalist. Um, we both, Jonathan and I, both have our press credentials. He's pressed with um, your content. I'm with U.S. Press Corps. So um, if you don't like what we're doing, I don't have to explain myself to you. But now seeing how snarky your question is, I know exactly why my mods timed you out. And you know what? I don't need to answer to you. OK, I don't need to answer to you. I'm a citizen, a citizen that cares. You know why I don't get a PI license? Because it would restrict me. I have the Constitution of the United States that backs me as a private citizen to do the work that I'm doing but you would have to have a brain to understand that. So you're more than welcome to leave my chat if you don't like it. You're, you don't have to ever watch my channel again. But if the idea that I owe you an explanation about what I'm doing is ludicrous, you mind your own business, you handle your own business for yourself and I'll handle my own business for myself. Pretty simple, right? Every time yesterday, uh, as you can see, I'm hoarse. Um, I went out on top and, and, and let Don Wells and Candace Wells have it. We let them have it. We let TBI have it too, but again, it, that wasn't our primary, that wasn't our target. You know, that wasn't our target. And uh, we did very good. I hope we made you all proud. We told them that we knew. We called them criminals. We told them they need to be locked up. 
um, they heard us. They heard us. So uh, Don Wells actually reached out. Well, I reached out to Don Wells. Let's, let, I'm going to make sure that I'm completely 100% factual because, you know, don't want people to call me a liar because that's the one thing I'm not as a liar. All right. So we found the goad. This is Don Wells' parents' grave. And it's located right at the end. And right in front of it is a circle of wood. Seems like, seems like wood. Looks like landscaping. Um, you know. Okay. This, um, none of the other that we've seen, that we've passed, have this. There's a little bit of strange things that are happening today. Very odd. Possibility, what do you think? Do you think that that's kind of like a makeshift garden? Well, there's definitely, there was definitely a plant looking like in the middle of it, but the question is why would they do that here? We get some people saying that they believe her body's here and that looks like the size of, you know, a little five-year-old crunched up. Well, if that were the case, don't you think that they would have looked? Not necessarily, because okay. if you think about it, Let's for so let's say let's play devil's advocate. Okay. So let's say, for example, that um, they needed to do something with her body right away. Oh my God! And they put her in the um, makeshift garden that they created at their house. They realized the officers didn't find her on the first thing, but they know they're going to be back. And we have discussed them possibly moving her. What if in the middle of the night they decided to come out here and, and place her here? Now, I did notice that there is residential property that can see what is going on here. Right. Or could potentially, let's say potentially. But if you're not making a lot of noise and all you're doing is sneaking out here and digging, how much noise would you be making? You wouldn't be making much. So if you... Are you telling me that you think that she could possibly be under these leaves it's it is it, uh, absolutely possible but probable is a different you know scenario possible anything's possible but this as soon as i saw it gave me the eebie-jeebies i gotta say when i saw it walking up here it, it is it, this why everyone kept telling me to come here it very well may be because i was like what are we going there for because no other grave has this. And it's it looks like it's been freshly done. Yeah. It looked like they had a, a nice plant there. So it didn't look, it, it obscured it. Yeah. And then with the winter, the plant died down. So for us coming here, it looks awfully odd. But wouldn't it smell? I think six months later? Of course not. No? No. no. Okay. The baby's decomposed. Oh my God. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm, I don't mean to sound callous, but I, I mean, I'm clinical when it comes to these. Huh? Everyone, thank you so much for clicking this video. I appreciate you so much. Now, these were just a little glimpse of how nasty this group is. This group here makes me physically ill. I have, like, I can't even watch them. They make me so sick. And I don't understand how nobody can see through this. I don't understand why so many are still here to say that they're doing it because they care. I mean, I'm just mind boggled by it, really. So let's talk about the group. Now, I can't really speak for Bullhorn Betty. And that is because I really couldn't find too much about uh, Bullhorn Betty. I know she's newer to the Wells case. <laughs> so I know she's put out like a lot of information that we've all known for months. And I know she puts it on her channel like it's, you know, brand new news. And, you know, it's new to her, okay? So let me be, you know, play devil's advocate here. I think maybe she does, she is a person who 
you know, does really care and is an advocate for others. Let's just say that. I have seen her in town hall meetings. I've seen her, there was one where she was like at the school board meeting. Um, I know somebody said, well, she don't have kids. But I mean, really, you don't have to have kids to have a voice. <clears throat> so maybe she is someone who does really wants, want to be an advocate. And I'm not somebody who likes to throw people's past in their face. I think some of the some of the worst of the worst people can come out and do something great, especially if something like, you know, putting all your work and your effort into, say, trying to find missing kids or get the word out. If that is what's helping you stay out of trouble and stay on the straight and narrow path, then I say, you know, go go for it. Good for you. That's wonderful. That's great. You know, however, looking back on, say, Jonathan's past, that is tells us so much more about his character as, as who he is as a person. For one, the guy's a little cuckoo, okay? He's a little bit off his rocker. No doctor. He's a little off his rocker. Uh, I, I believe he is a dangerous person. I do. I believe Jonathan Lee Riches is a very dangerous person, and I hope that eyes are on him. I hope the authorities know who he is when he's coming to their town. I really do. It shows you by his past and everything he's done, it shows you how much the only thing he really cares about is getting the media coverage, getting people to know his name, getting people to talk about him, like this right here. That's what he wants. And Molly Golightly's no different. So I don't see how the, how in the hell these two ended up meeting up because they are two peas in a pod. Um, that's literally all they care about is having media presence. They would, they would stampede over a group of people to have the news media cameras in their face. I have no clue how Olivia ended up with this group. I do, I do not know. She's a very talented young woman. And I just want to tell you to run. Run as fast as you can. Because this group that you're mixed up with is rotten. Rotten to their core. I just, I don't know. It's mind-blowing. I mean, time after time, they've shown us who they are. And people can say, well, Molly apologized for what she did with Shanann. What kind of person would do that? What kind of person in their right mind would even think to do something like that? What kind of person secretly records a minor and puts them on their YouTube page for especially how many followers she has. Who puts a funeral and pictures of people no longer with us behind a paywall? And you think they care? You think they're advocating? This man lied and pretended to be the uncle of Adam Lanza. Like, he went to prison for it. In 2012, he prov provoked his probation for going there. He didn't care. He wanted that spotlight. He goes to rally after rally, making up lies just to, just to say... Oh, I trolled them. I was smarter than them. I tricked them. They probably laugh at the at the supporters and those who are actually paying for this stuff on this wish list. They probably are laughing behind the scenes that these people actually think that they're serious. And for them to to even act or pretend that they love these victims more than their own family. Who the hell do you people think you are? 
you act like they act like they're really out there doing something. They're not doing shit. They're not doing shit. They're promoting themselves. On your dime. You're paying for it. You're paying for them to promote themselves. I don't, I don't know. This, I don't understand how you, how you can lay your head down at night. Know you're making your money off a five-year-old girl who's missing. Forget the speculations, the crazy speculations you guys put out. This group is using each other to gain clout, to gain subscribers. I'm curious of what's going to happen once, you know, they ex succeed and um, they no longer need anything more out of each other. That is a show I can't wait to watch. That's going to be a good one right there. Because they're going to eat each other alive. Watch. It's coming. And I want to add, you can feel however you feel in regards to Don and Candace and how wrapped up you think they're involved in this. I don't think it's right to hold them up like they're some kind of martyrs. Because, let's be real, they were horrible parents. And I'm not talking about just because you're poor just because you don't have a lot of money, there are a lot of families out there who are dirt poor, who have very loving homes. The well, the the home of Summer Wells was not that. So I don't like it. Does make me cringe because I feel like the opposite side is kind of like holding up Dawn and them like they're some kind of great, great people, and I just don't feel that way. I don't know how I feel about Don. I think he's not that bright. So honestly, I don't, I think he would have slipped up or by now. I just, I don't think he's that bright to be able to pull off something like this for this long. Um, when it comes to Candace, that's a whole other story though for me. So, but I'm not going to speculate guys. I'm going to let the cops do their jobs because they know more than what's led. They know more than what is... <clears throat> being portrayed on these channels. So I'm going to let them do their job. I'm not going to sit here like I know more than them or I could do their job better. Also, you know, I don't have nothing against true crime channels. I think there's a lot of good true crime channels out there. Um, one, let me know. I just kind of stumbled across her. Her name was Sweetie Pie. Uh, I think it's Lo. She covers the Summer Wells case, and uh, the way I watched her cover it was very classy, um, very professional. She interviewed, I think, it was, was it Dudley? Is that his name? She did such a great job, and that is how a true crime channel should be ran. Let me know below. Go ahead and name drop. I don't mind that. If there are creators you enjoy, true crime channels you enjoy, drop them names below in the comments. So everyone could go give them their time and their views. Let me know what you guys think below. Give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. That would be awesome. Hit the notification bell because you just never know when I'm going to go on and put a video out. And until next time, guys, please, as always, take care. Bye, guys.